I mean, the levels are the same as last time. Episode six. It's taped up. Can, is that enough? Yeah. Episode six. Episode six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first <laughs> off. First off. So you Episode s- six of Coke Dad. Since we've started releasing this, yes. we've lost followers. Yes, which was not the plan. <laughs> like, not even a couple followers. We've lost like 200 followers. I think it's because we called it Coke Dads. <laughs> well, when, remember earlier I told you people don't like that name? Yeah. And then you started giving me examples of other people in your life? That plant is done for. I was kidding about the plant mm. when I was talking earlier. I know. You know, before I was telling you people don't like the name? Yeah. I'm people. I don't like you, the You were part of the inception of it. You want to change it now? No, of course we're not. We're We're too far in. We're on episode six. <laughs> it's funny. I like it. Coke dance. It's just, why would you take such a traumatic part of our childhood and life and throw it? <laughs> childhood. I, I didn't, my dad wasn't a coke head till later. So like. <laughs> so not even a. Not th- even a like non-sequitur. Kid, like I was a full out adult. Like I was already a full out adult. So it should have had no bearing on your life. No bearing on my life. But it did. Well, I have a podcast <laughs> called now Coke Dads. Called Coke Dads. So, of the two of us, who did it affect more? It killed your dad. Yeah. <laughs> so you. So why can't I joke about it? So should I be funnier? It killed your dad. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Welcome back, episode six. I don't. I don't. Isn't that what we do? We make fun of the things that hurt. If you guys, if Ariel says anything really funny, um, give it to him because he's told me that I don't. Uh, he doesn't. You don't. You barely laugh. He doesn't even. He goes understand. like this. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you go like this, <laughs> and then afterwards you'll be like, "It was so funny when you said this, this, and this." It's like, "Oh, was it? Was it funny?" No, no. I say it's so funny when I oh, say yeah, yeah. this, this, and this. <laughs> no, you send me things. We're like, "Oh, this conversation we had was funny." Totally. And I'll be funny in that conversation, but during you're like, "I'm not laughing." So if you guys think Ariel's funny, because I I figured out how to. Like right now, I look at the camera. Yeah, you can look at it. Then I go back to yeah. you. Yeah, I'm figuring. You figured it out. Yeah. And it took. Since I like this green uh, toque. It really makes the eyes pop. It's to match our set. It really makes your eyes That's just like did. come out. This week, when I was looking at hats, you know how, why I have so many hats? Because I lose my hats. Yeah. And I find them later, but it's very cold in Canada. So I have three. So I always catch myself at like a convenience store. Just buying another, one. another hat. Like, oh God, I'm going to die today. Because <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> How many do you have? Uh, how many episodes have we shot? Six. How many episodes am I wearing a hat? Uh, this is first one? I don't know. No way. I'd For sure. Episode two, I have a hat. I don't I, know. Yeah, I haven't. At one point, I think I'm wearing a Newfoundland hat. Yeah, oh, you have that blue one. That's the Newfoundland hat. Yeah, that's the Newfoundland. Welcome back to episode six. I uh, hope you're paying to see how many hats I own. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't know the answer either. It's crazy. Please support so Brandon can buy more hats. What did you guys miss this week? Well, I still don't know how many hats I have. <laughs> so from there. Well, what did you miss? You missed us losing followers. So but, but putting many. out But putting out content. So we many did followers. It. We Everyone's s- like, you got to put out content. That's how you get followers. And then we lost <laughs> the followers. <laughs> The more we do, the less it works. And for the, when we first started losing the followers, at first, when I would notice, I would message Ariel or call him, and I'd be like, yo, dude, we're losing followers. And then Ariel's like, at some point, it just... It's got to <laughs> turn. At but some he kept point. saying that. And then today, before the podcast, I was like, hey, when do you think it's going to turn? And he's like, what? And I'm like, you've been telling me for days now that like at some point it well, switches. eventually, I'm saying, and like, talking it's not going to be one week. I've been telling me that, Brand, so I can, it's like, wait, what? That's not a real. Yeah, I've been doing that. Like, I've been putting out stuff, and I've lost more followers putting out content than I did not putting out content. I thought you watched, like, a Gary V thing and was just like, oh, this is what you do. Every, like, class on, like, how to grow a following or whatever, that's what they say. None of this makes any sense to me, you know? They're like, I don't think consistency. Any... It's like, none of this. I don't think you should purchase any of those classes. Well, I pay for Skillshare. This episode is brought to you by Skillshare.com. That's not true. It's not true. They don't sponsor us at all. No, I think any... But if you are watching this Skillshare, please sponsor us. Any classes are dumb. Why? They're just... They don't... I'm just not any classes. I'm saying any classes like passive income classes. No, this is like a... I learned so much from this thing. I signed up for it when I was trying to get better at design. Did you? Yeah. What do you think? Because of the course? (laughs) Definitely. I learned you learn tips and tricks from people. That's really what it's about. Who do you think cares 
about this. I know I, I'm not trying to make this a theme, but so what was the name of the website? Why do you care about this? I'm just I don't know. Oh, the the millions of people who use Skillshare.com. Uh, yeah, you know. I just think you guys should follow our Skillshare.com. We seminar. could make one. Specializing in how to fail at owning a comedy. <laughs> don't put that out there. No, no, like how to how to fail the first time at owning a comedy. Oh, it's, be, it's been so many than the first time. Well, we're opening. It's official. Everything's in motion. Well, there's no stopping point, now. At this point, when this is released, we're open. Yeah, we will be well, well like open, open at this point. Like, check it out. Um, this week we have inside the Christie Pitts Pub. It would be really funny if yeah. it was like this week we have, and then it's like beep. We just have <laughs> like a generic voice. We just have their later. face float up. No, we're not that booked ahead. No, we're we've booked we're what, not. three weeks. Yes, the first three. I'm excited. Nick Reynolds and no, that's already passed. That's no, happened. I know, but we can still talk about him as an act. And then I want you to get Danny Martinello. Yes, and Danny Che. I try to get Che. He is unavailable for Forever. the extended period of time. He's only on the metaverse. <laughs> you can only catch Che on his Instagram. Follow him, you TikTok. fucking idiots. His TikTok. That's the only way. Che exclusive. Yeah. You want to see Che? Only on TikTok. He's killing it. He's got so many followers. Dude. We should ask him for tips. He's just. Gonna he should come on an episode and give tips. Yeah, we can't get him to do stand-up comedy, <laughs> which he does, but we'll get him on this show for <laughs> tips. Who else? Yeah, let's get... How about we get Elon Musk for fucking... Like, get the fuck out of here. He's a, he's a South African Jew. So we have Jew, Jeff Ross he? on the podcast yeah. later. <laughs> Jeff Ross is going to be a roast Ariel. What else? We haven't really talked as friends. Well, it's because it's been it's busy like for us. Nothing to talk about. For you guys at home, uh, this is the week for us that's right before... All right, to catch, let's catch you up. So COVID, as of yesterday... Is no longer today's the first day you can leave your home. Like we don't, we're not supposed to talk about time and dates, but let's do it. So it'd be funny if when this comes out like three weeks from now, everything shut down again. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me not to manifest shit, <laughs> and then you do no, that. I'm being hilarious because like we. Oh, been, so when you do it, it's a joke. But when I do it, it's how not many a times joke? have they locked us in? The uh, three. So this is where for the fourth time. Yeah. Right now, like tonight, I'm gonna go have a shot somewhere just because I can. Yeah. You know. Hit a and patio. Then, so next week at this time, we're open. Smooch with your girlfriend. Okay. Next. <laughs> you, you guys see the twinkle in his eye? On a patio. That? Did you? We can go inside. <laughs> <laughs> That's our brand new smooches. So can we? I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's just the smooch know. show. Uh, I don't know. I'm having fun. There's going to be lo- some like, lonely girl or boy that's just like listening. Uh, watched so me smooch and it's not turned on. I hope that <laughs> I hope that people, I hope that s- not people, but trolls watch this just so someone can turn that into a gif of you. Of being a... <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you just do it? Because you gave them so Because you don't know how to make things into gifs. I don't know how to smooch. <laughs> I don't know how to smooch like that. Give us a smooch. Oh, you said, why don't I turn it into a gif? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were saying, why don't you kiss like that? Show me, show me a smooch. A no, brand so new smooch. what I'm trying to say before you got all is, is that we live in a world now where this is it. Like we've screwed around. You told me you're like, hey, let's make a podcast. I agree to make the podcast. I start having fun, and then the world's like, hey, you could go back outside again. And now you don't want to do the so podcast. now we can go back outside again, but we're still going to do the podcast. Yes, because we're promoting our comedy club. And hanging because out as friends. Forget that <laughs> part, which is being funny again. But I'm just trying to catch them up. I'm yes. trying to tell them that, like, by the time this is out, like, when you saw the other episodes, it we, was, were, we were locked in. There was and nothing we going on. And the proactive. only comedy shows going on were in, like, people's basements that, like, I didn't ask to be a part of. Or there was an outdoor show. Good. Big ups to Blackjack and uh, Yaz North and South North Presents. Presents and Dan Guyry for putting that on. Because when How they was your set? You did when the they show. did lock us out. They How was your set? It was good. It was up. okay. It was fine. I did okay. You got, got nothing? No, it was good. It was I went after Kyle and Kyle has his new you can catch Kyle at our show in the past. <laughs> so Or future. Or present. But um <laughs> he has this one joke where he basically talks about I don't want to give away his punchline, but he's a personal trainer and like he compares personal training to what they do to fat people to what Nazis did to Jews. So he has this like set, and at some point in this set, he's like, "You know what it says outside Auschwitz?" And some guy like answered, and then I went on stage, and I was just like, "You want? Yeah, I'm his follower." 
<laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fat Jew that comes up <laughs> after Kyle because you guys love it. At one point, there was a history class going on. Like it was just so funny. That should have done well. Yeah, it did well. And then when I started doing like myself and my jokes, like, it was okay. But Brandon's really fo- like this podcast has helped with that. So yeah, it was a good. Did you do okay. new, Did you do any of the newer? stuff? I did some new stuff. But it doesn't matter. No, I like, it doesn't. How did you feel about it? I felt good because I have this one joke. If you want to talk about it, so for for our other skit we do is we do this back room comedy club. Nope, that's our comedy club. The comedy clubhouse. We do our comedy clubhouse, which is the a sketches, sketch, and the sketch entails that I'm you and you're me. So to throw the perspective of my eyes as being a nihilist is really funny for me. Because then it's just like, I wrote this joke about just like, why is it my problem? Like, if you like religion and you're like a Jehovah Witness, why are you selling me? If you're a nihilist, like, well, if you don't believe and you're just here to suffer, why am I suffering? Like, leave me alone. <laughs> you should all just kill yourselves. And that's what I was just oh, like. Oh, thanks, bud. No, but that's where it was just like, if that's, because you see what I'm yeah, saying. I, well, like, it helped me. I wrote one where I was like, what's the point of being a nihilist? <laughs> like, that's not how I've been for years, but it's like, it's exhausting. Because you're like, uh, it's exhausting on those around you trying to be positive. And then it got so funny to for me where it's just like, so you just think that life's like misery and they're like, it's all like, it's just like, then why don't you just do it? <laughs> you know, that's where it's so funny to me. Me just being such a good friend that I'm just telling like you or you're the only one in my life, but just someone who's just like, none of it matters. Then it's like, then why do I then d- d- didn't deal with it? Like, you know, in my head, that's funny. But how? How do you deal with something if none of it matters? Well, my, if we're going to have this real conversation, yeah, my joke about. is I, I'm telling you to kill yourself. <laughs> that's you how you to, think we yes, should deal with it. I'm thinking instead of you like wasting your money at therapy or like coming up to a positive friend and sharing <laughs> experiences, <laughs> make me sad and you a little bit better. Just fucking end it. Just not you. But those real, like you so before you think, we were friends, like, you know, when we got really close as friends and you're like, oh, life might be worth living. Like there's might be more to this, you know? Well, the little bit of hope. I'm not saying you became a Jedi, <laughs> but I'm just saying that the little bit of hope ended yes. your life. I'm saying before that, yeah, we were like, that. man, just kill yourself. That's all, not you, but that guy. Yeah, that was the plan. But it wasn't because if it was, it was just like, it's just so funny that over the years I used to have this boss. I'll say this. Please don't kill yourself. I used to have this boss. I'm not going to say it or not. And he was just so sad. He was always just like, well, you're so sad. This and this. And it's like, dude, you're not doing us any favors by bumming us out. Okay, don't kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I get the the bit. It's, it's funny. funny. That's why it's, it's funny. so funny. I would never tell someone to kill themselves. I'm not Dr. Death or Dr. Working, But it's super funny to me where it's just like, Oh, the cure is killing yourself? And like, <laughs> you bump, bump, bump. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down. It's like a 90s sitcom where at the end of every episode, someone, someone kills, kills themselves. Himself. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's Nihilism, the show. It's just so That'd funny. That'd be a good show, actually. I don't know. It made me laugh hard. So I tried I like that it. joke, and they didn't really laugh. They no. just, there was like 30 people. Though. Like a comedian may have laughed. Like people were just like, eh. But I was just like, you guys just laughed at like fat Jews dying, and that was yeah. great. And you were all like <laughs> cheering. <laughs> yeah. and, like, and I tell you about a specific. You know, yeah. like, I don't know. They're like no, and it was funny because I turned the bit. To, like for me, it was like whenever that something didn't land, it was like, oh, it's not my jokes. It's that I'm fat and Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> Drink. Is it? Uh, was the stage set up uh, like in the middle of the tent, or was it at the end of the tent? It was at the end of the tent. Yeah, when I did it, it was at the middle of the tent, which was weird. Well, they had a full head. Like the craziest part about it is it was it, full. When I did the show, it was like what, what minus twenty two, minus twenty seven. Yeah. And it was full. Yeah, because like, people so are like, proud. I want to do something. I'm so proud of those guys for putting on shows like that. It's inspiring. When I did, it was full, except there was just a bunch of like loud cokeheads in the back. Yeah, cokeheads love comedy. They love puns. So you should do very well in a coke crowd. I don't tell puns anymore. You won't. You told me not to. <laughs> You're like, you won't let me. That's no, not. <laughs> that's where I was going, but it's not I won't let. It's like I've. The word's not like I could Like I'm fucking controlling you on a stage. It's different. I, it's it's just that's not. Off stage, you never once like said a pun and you're like, Brad, oh my <laughs> God. Fire. Like if I was that guy and we were off stage and just shooting puns at you and you're like, yo, you're the pun man. Like do puns. But that's not me. I'm the kind of guy. Yeah. You've never once really told me a pun off stage. I'm like witty and like sexy. <laughs> that's my comedy. My comedy is like tall, dark and handsome. That's how you describe my comedy. Yo, how's, oh, Bra- <laughs> how's Brand's comedy? Brandon's fine. Gained a little weight. But uh, his comedy? Tall, tall dark, dark and handsome. <laughs> What's mine? 
neurotically oh, sad. I don't know. I haven't seen you in a while. You were like doing. I don't know. I wouldn't even say neurotic. Just like no. Let me watch next time and next episode. Now that the world's back, we'll be doing yeah, stuff yeah. again. Well, um, here guys, how about that? Every week when the club's back, we'll, we'll just tell them. We'll, we'll review them each other's yeah. comedy. And like as a person, <laughs> as a person, you're getting better, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you're happier. Oh, we have so much to do though. It's See, frightening. It was nice to take a break and do this. Yeah, it was nice. I like, got this it. Is fun. It was a stressful day. Just getting here was stressful. Tell them about like it. Like fucking uh, get off because uh, I take the highway around and then get off at the highway and it was like, okay, you'll now just wait for 25 minutes. Not even move. Just wait right here. He messages me. Messages me at like, what, 10.45? Been like 10 minutes away. And then <laughs> like I got here at 11.50. minutes go by and you're like, I got a text. <laughs> I can hear your voice. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Through the hate. Text. Yeah, yeah. You're just like I'm fucking caught in traffic or just something like. Yeah, I was very up. It, I was in such a good mood too, and then all of a sudden I wasn't in a good mood. It's funny because when Ariel's in a good mood, he's like, um, "See, this is a funny pun, pun, but not really. Like, you're like a Disney princess, not like Ariel the fucking mermaid, but like one that opens his like door of his window and birds will fly <laughs> in, and you'll like sing and talk <laughs> to the birds, and they'll sing. That's and what talk you think back. happens when I'm in a good when mood. In a good mood, and when you wake up in the morning, <laughs> like when Ariel had re- has really good sex, he wakes up in the morning and like chipmunks like are at his door and like little squirrels i wish just, this was true oh. and then like you just like sing along and there's like you're showering and a bird's like tweet 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 like it's just <laughs> I'm telling you man when ariel's happy it's like a that's fucking, what's happening it's like a cinderella story but when ariel's sad it's just like, <laughs> and like smoke and just gloomy clouds fantastic i mean i think that's better than you when you're sad it's just like like I I teeter into Eeyore. You go full Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. Well, You're like the thing that's different too wah, wah, is that since we uh, we shot this podcast, wah. like I don't know if it was episode one or two, and we talk about how comedians get stoned, and then a bunch of crazy weeds dropped, and now I'm just ruined, like at all times. Ghost drops. Ghost drops. I've tried both of them. Both delicious. Like just rock. is it th- that you said that was the people who make Astro though, right? That's, I think. I yeah. think that's the you're asking. I don't. This I don't. Isn't a weed no, I no longer. Well, you're the weed guy. But it's just like yeah, it ghost drops or ghost crops, whatever it is, drops. Drops. It was. Yeah. It's fire. Um, I went to cat. No, with the money, surely sixty bucks for. I went to three point five fifty. Still. So I went for a little walk around. Now, anyone who knows. Bubby's Boys knows that we're about community, and it sounds ridiculous, but that's why we've been successful. So what I've been doing is I've been canvassing um, where we are at now, and I didn't realize how close we were to cafe. So I walked in, and like, yeah, I like Astro, and I like stuff like that, but they also have this one called Smokes and Jokes, and they just had it there, and, it, and I was looking for this blue wedding that they didn't have that was like the fire. But I got this like Tropicana cookies, and it's just ruining me. So I have just like a bunch of really good weed right now. Did you smoke that before today? Yeah, I've been smoking all day. (laughs) I I was up this morning at like 8.30 because last night, you guys would be proud of us. We're on Spotify. We're on Apple. We're on YouTube. You're working hard. No, it's not even Brandon's hustling. It's not even that because it's super easy if you can figure it out. Shout out to Anchor. Like that was like, you know. This episode is brought to you by Anchor. No, nothing's brought to you by anything (laughs) until people pay us. Okay. This episode is brought to you by whoever's paying us. This episode is brought to you by Brandon Sobel. No, this, this episode <laughs> is brought to you by Backroom Comedy Club. Yes. That being said, the back so these Club. weeds are just like, so last night I was up, not that late, but just doing stuff. And then I woke up excited this morning. So like I woke up and like part of my routine is smoking weed. But when I wake up at like nine, I can't really smoke weed till like 11, 30, 12. But like when I wake up at like eight, seven, 30, smoking weed at like nine, nine, 30. So Why the difference? Just it's just part of the routine. It's like I'm up. I'm so going. why were you up so early? Ugh, I'm excited about the future, Ariel. I'm excited could about. You, could you show that in your face? <laughs> this is your face all day. Because I'm just super stoned. <laughs> that's, that's your impression to me. <laughs> yeah, I was telling you this earlier. I'll tell you guys. I'll mumble, make, I'm gonna mumble. make it a joke. Uh, my girlfriend was making fun of me, and she's doing this like impression of me. And it was like making me feel terrible, but also turning me on <laughs> at the same time. So You're like being negged. No, because it wasn't even being negged. It was like it, she was being me. And I was just like, ooh, you know, 
I was just like, <laughs> like this morning, I like got on top of her and was like, yo, sell me a credit card, you know? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's so bad. Mm. I feel so bad for her. That's why you feel bad for her? That's yeah, that's pretty awful. Not the kisses. <laughs> 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 Fucking weirdo. He kissed it so many times because this uh, foam feels nice on your lips. It does? And your nose. I'm turned on by this. I'm turned on by I wonder if it'll sell me a credit card. Well, I believe that's been our time. No, it has not. Yeah, for sure. It has. 20 minutes. That was only 20 that minutes. That was only 20 minutes. <laughs> well, I like how quickly you want to get out of here. That was that was our time for the YouTube part. Yeah. So <laughs> thank you for that free part. Uh, let's see. Let's see what kind of exclusive content we can come up with this week. 